This video is being recorded to help you learn how to get Learn360 video content into the hands of your students. The first step is to log in to Learn360. Learn360 uses your domain username at fcps.edu to log in. Please notice that you can't use your first name dot last name. You must use that convention and you must add at fcps.edu to the end of your username. Next, type in the Learn360 password that you selected. And our first step in getting video into the hands of students is to identify a video that you'd like to share. So I'm just going to do a quick search here on Monarchs. And for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to take the first result that pops back. And I'm pausing that video. OK, up to the right, you'll notice a link. What you want to do first is copy that link. Now this link, if you gave it to students, would require them to have a username and password. And our students do not have a username and password for Learn360. So what we have to do is turn this into a URL that you can share that will not require a login for them to view it. So once you've copied that uh, link from this box, the next step is to go to our IT service catalog um, where we will, there's a place where you can turn it into a shareable URL. So once you're at our intranet site, you'll scroll down to information technology, and next you'll click on the A to Z index. Once you're here, you can either scroll all the way down to the L section, or you can use the, the uh, A to Z list here at the top to click on L, which will bump you down to the L section and you'll notice all the services associated with Learn360. For this video, we're going to go to Request Shareable URL Builder, which is the service that will turn it into a link for your students. Um, and then I'll again click here in the middle of the screen where it says Shareable URL. And there's two different ways. So I'm going to show you option one, and then I'll show you option two. Option one would be to come back to this website every time you want to turn a, a hyperlink into a video for your students and you simply paste in the URL that you copied and you click on the shareable URL button and you will get back a shortened URL that looks something like this that you can copy and paste into your Blackboard site or, or give it to your students in another way and that will allow them to watch that video from home or on any computer without having to log in to Learn360. I'm going to go back here because I'd like to show you option two. Option two might save you actually a little bit of time. If you're using Internet Explorer and you right click up here in any open area on your uh, you know, menu bars, you want to make sure that your favorites bar is visible. So um, you want to make sure that there's a check mark beside favorites bar. And once you've done that, you can left click and drag that link up to your favorites bar. And it's going to put what's called a bookmarklet on your browser window. So once you have that, you can go to Learn360. And you'll notice that the Learn360 link bookmarklet is still visible to you. So I could find another video. Let me find one on photosynthesis. And again, I'm going to take the first video that I see. And I'm going to, again, copy this. But instead of having to go find the IT service catalog, now I can click on the bookmarklet, and it automatically creates that link for me. So that's actually a little faster. Um, you can watch this video again if you need some additional help. And if you're using a different browser, um, again, you might have to play around with making sure that your favorites bar is visible at the top. I hope this was helpful, and I hope your students enjoy their Learn360 videos.